it. Today for Vlogist, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a story time slash unveiling of a few products that I picked up at Ikea. So a few weeks ago, I was down in the Newark area and I decided to place an order and do like the click to pick up at Ikea. Uh, one that was about 25 minutes from the Newark area. I had been looking online and searching for some ideas of what to do for like my makeup slash getting ready area. And I found the solution, which was these Alex drawers with a just plain like shelving uh, top desk top to kind of match it. And I also picked up some organizational things from Ikea as to go inside of the drawers as well as a mirror to go on top. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a little bit of the footage of when I was shopping through this Ikea. This Ikea that I went to was probably the biggest Ikea that I've ever been to. Now, I don't have an Ikea near me in Syracuse. I have been to Ikea a couple of times when I was visiting in the UK and then to hit this one and this one was like double the size. It was just so huge. There was so many people in there so it was really hard for me to get a lot of vlog footage but I did try to pick up um, some of the areas that I was shopping at and looking for items at the Ikea. Uh, when I got back home, I actually set up and put together the uh, Lux the Alex drawers and they were extremely, extremely easy to put together. I think it took me maybe 10 to 12 minutes to put together each drawer, which kind of makes up the um, either side of my makeup table. So now what I'm going to do right now is I'll kind of unveil for you uh, what I did in as far as the setup and talk to you a little bit about my frustration and my mistake when I ordered at Ikea. First of all, when you do a click to pick up at a store at Ikea, you only have, I believe, 24 hours to pick it up. And if you do not pick it up within 24 hours, you it goes back into stock and i did not realize that and i had actually come like 12 hours past my 24 hour period of when i ordered them so then when i got to the ikea which was just before they got ready to close all my stuff was already put back in stock they had already reversed the charge however it took literally four days for them to give me the money back so what i had to do is i had to actually buy the products over again at the Ikea, check out, and then I had to wait four days before they actually credited me my money back. So I was a little bit upset about that, but I did eventually get the money back. One of the downsides of when, you buying st when you're buying stuff at Ikea, especially when there isn't an Ikea near you, is that I didn't open up the packages ahead of time, and unfortunately, my mirror was broken. So now I need to decide what I'm going to do if I'm going to make another trip back down there to return the mirror, get a new one, or if I'm going to try to just take out the broken mirror and go to Lowe's or Home Depot and have them cut me a piece of mirror to fit in there and just keep the frame and stuff because I just absolutely love the mirror, but I haven't really been able to use my dressing table yet because I don't have a nice mirror in front of my window to be able to put on my makeup, to do my hair, that kind of thing. Um, so without further ado, here is 
what I have going on so far. And I'll walk you through the products that I, the organizational products that I picked up at IKEA. So this is the dressing table as it stands right now. I have it up against a window so I can have some nice natural light coming in. And you can see the Alex drawers already put together and on either side. I really love the way these drawers open up. Uh, this does happen to be one of the organizational drawers that I picked up at Ikea. And you can see there still is a lot of room behind this uh, for you know storage and stuff but the this is as far as the drawer comes out it comes with two of the smaller drawers see I have another um, organizational piece there we have um, these items I picked up these are Dollar Tree organizational items and this is one that I picked up at Ikea it came with a top but I'm not using the tops inside of these drawers um, and then these are the bigger drawers, which there are, are you, it, they're very deep. You have a lot of room. These are nicely built, heavy duty. Um, these little trays I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And there's another drawer down here for more storage. Same thing over on this side. We have these, the, and again, the long drawers and these, the long containers and these little short containers were from Ikea. They came with nice little white tops, but I just took the tops out for my storage purposes. These two items, these two containers are from the Dollar Tree. I have my pallets inside of these, uh, standing up inside of these napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. And then this is a letter, ho letter holder that, again, I picked up at the Dollar Tree. More Ikea containers. And then this is a Dollar Tree container back there. Uh, here is just some, again, more storage. You can just see how much storage space this uh, ca this cabinet really does. It's really allowed me to be able to keep the top pretty much like makeup free except for some of my brushes which I have to go over and clean out. I picked up these two items at the Dollar Tree. This one I can't remember. I picked up somewhere. I think it was like Barnes and Noble. And this one back here, I believe that is another Dollar Tree organizer. So let me show you the mirror. Here's the mirror. You can see how it is broken, but it is a nice size mirror. Uh, but what I noticed is that when you flip it over, it actually kind of fits in. However, it does have kind of a curvature so I'm not sure if Lowe's is going to be able to cut me a piece that is going to be that exact same size. So I have to really decide what I'm going to do as far as getting this mirror replaced. As far as the chair that I'm sitting on, I actually picked up this chair at, I believe, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I got it for like $49. And I just put this, I got this at like five below and it fits perfectly right inside there. The top that I have here is just an Ikea shelving or tabletop that I just have setting on top of the two drawers. So there's no screws, no nothing um, needed and it just can be slid around as needed. So that is going to be it for my video today, guys. I guess the moral of the story is if you're gonna order the click the click and pick up that you get there within 24 hours. Be prepared to wait four days if you go there after that and have to run around the store and refind all the items that you had just ordered online. <laughs> And also, lastly, please, if you have any glass items or mirrored items that you check to make sure that the you open the boxes and make sure that they are not damaged before you leave the premises. That's going to be it for my vlog today, guys. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm going to chat with you in my next vlog. Bye, guys.